What's up, peoples? Welcome to another product review brought to you by Puller Magazine. And today we're going to be going over two slightly arm wrestling related products. Um, the first is Western Survivor Beef Jerky. They claim to be the best beef jerky on earth. And lately they've been sponsoring a lot of uh, arm wrestling podcasts and um, they raffled off a... Um, an arm wrestling table and they've done just a few different things for the community of arm wrestling look to be a big sponsor possibly in the future for events and whatnot definitely want them on team puller magazine looking forward to working with them uh, today i got a handful of products from them to try out we got their shremska hopefully i'm pronouncing that slightly correct dry sausage fingers we also got some of their pork jerky swooped up some of their medium um, jerky and also got some zimbabwe biltong whatever the hell that is let's go ahead and try these products out i did just do a review for dan the iron man Mosier uh hot sauce um so my mouth is still burning a little bit i'll put a little link right here to that review so you can see what his sauce sauce is all about really good stuff but i'm hoping that some of this uh jerky cools down that heat from the hot sauce let's start off with the dry sausage fingers the the shrimska let's see what that's all about looks like a standard little baby pepperoni stick that's really good this isn't like what you're gonna get at the gas station this tastes a lot more real really really good chases i could eat a grip of this and protein right on wrestlers needs our protein the shrimps is good definitely definitely good on the shrimps go next up we got the medium beef jerky i love beef jerky Unlike hot sauce, which I'm not that big a fan of. I love beef jerky, but I'm really picky about it. Now, oh, this is crazy. One thing I noticed in the package is that it looks so much different than regular jerky. Like, the texture, the, the color, everything. It just looks like meat instead of jerky. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. It's got damn good flavor. This is like... Legit. If you like sweet jerkies, this isn't for you. I hate sweet jerkies. Most of the jerkies, the Alberto nasty regular jerky that you see in the aisle at the grocery store, I really like the sweet flavor on that. This doesn't have that. This tastes like you're eating meat, like straight up meat, not dried out meat. That's really good. I'm gonna kill that. Pork jerky or the bill time. Let's go with the pork jerky to finish up with the Zimbabwe. I said grab some scissors real similar to the the medium beef it's still got that same look I think this might be my favorite so far the flavor develops while you're eating it at first it's a little tame little mellow then it just starts it just starts salivating the stuff is like real dill jerky they might be right about this being the best jerky gourmet dehydrated hog my new favorite jerky so far. I see it's a bill town. I see it with some Zimbabwe bill town. It's all about. I don't know if they. What this has to do with Zimbabwe is it the the style, or the way they make the jerky, or did the beef come from Zimbabwe? I'm confused. All right. This has a completely different texture, more of a classic jerky texture than the other two. Hmm. Really mellow scent compared to the other ones too. Very, very mellow. Looks like there's little pieces of peppercorn. This is more of a classic jerk. The flavors are real deep, real earthy. Really good flavor. There's a lot of it. I have to say this is probably my least favorite out of all these, even though it's bomb. It's got more of that classic jerky taste to it and texture, which I kind of like what they're doing over here with the pork and the medium a little bit more than this classic style but still good one thing i really like about all these is they're not sweet i hate sweet jerky 
and none of these are sweet. Might be a little bit of sweet on the sausage. Let me double check, make sure. Not really. There's no sweetness on these. I love that. It tastes like meat. You don't get a cut of beef and it tastes like teriyaki. It just tastes like meat. That's what this tastes like. Fresh. I can't, I can't argue. This is probably the best jerky in the world, for real. Hats off to Western Survivor for hooking up the beef jerky. This stuff is bomb. I'm definitely gonna be ordering more. Have this regularly as a snack for me because protein gonna get me back to where I was, get me strong again. Arm wrestlers, go get you some of the Western Survivor jerky. All right, next up on product review, we've got NatFit. If you don't know about NatFit, NatFit is ran by Jamie Sheldon out of California. He's an amazing arm wrestler, one of the popular arm wrestlers on the WAL. Most people know about Jamie. Please go out there and support the man. He's running a solid business, making a solid product. So let's go ahead and bring it in. NatFit protein this is going to be the vanilla flavor we'll give that a try here in a second the pre-workout the bcas and their testosterone boosts let's give it a try all right so first we're going to go over the protein powder i have yet to try the protein powder i've been waiting to give it a taste during this review but what we're going to do is give the vanilla nat fit protein powder a taste Mm, smells great smells like it's good quality and what I'm gonna be comparing it to is just some regular store brand protein powder oh oh I wish you could smell this shit yo that smells like dog food I'm thinking this shit went bad but we just bought this shit not long ago wow that's horrible I don't even want to drink that shit but I gotta do it for the review. I'm gonna take one for the team. I know my boy Jamie Sheldon did me right with the flavor on this. A little Nat Fit shaker. Oh, hold up. Just realized something. Can't do a Nat Fit review without my Nat Fit shirt on. All right, so now we're official. Mix this up. Put this nasty scoop of I can't tell what flavor. I'm pretty sure it was chocolate when I bought it. Now it smells like dog food flavor. One taste, everybody knows the rules. All right, let's get us a try. So we got the net fit, we got the store bought. Which one should I try first? Net fit. I'm scared to even drink that shit. That's good. That's not too sweet. It's not clumpy. Just those few little shakes got it nice and smooth. That's a good, good, good protein shake right there. That's something you look forward to. Put some bananas and shit in that. You're solid. Alright. Whew. It's not bad. It just tastes like water. It just tastes like straight up water. Like you put a little bit of, uh, what's that called? Nesquik in water. That's gross, yo. I don't even think there's anything in that. It don't taste like there's any protein in that bitch. This is full. Like, this is like creamy. A real protein shake. Something you'd be proud to drink. On to the next. I'm not going to give the BCAs a taste, but I can assure you it tastes real good. I was having an issue with, when I exercise, I have a real sweet tooth. And now that I'm starting to exercise more, because I did take some time off from arm wrestling due to some injuries, I'm starting to get back in the gym. I'm still lifting up the pink weights because my back's all messed up and I'm nursing a lot of injuries. But um, I've been drinking this when I got a sweet tooth and been noticing that my time down has shortened drastically while I've been taking this. Soreness is just less and it, it goes away quicker. So definitely get your hands on some of the BCAs from that fit. Uh, moving on to the test boost great great testosterone product right here i've tried a few in the past with mixed results uh, some i never even continued taking but this i could feel this within a few days the energy uh, definitely rose everywhere on the arm wrestling table in the gym even in the bedroom feeling this i'm getting old uh, testosterone is obviously going down a little bit and this is the next best thing to cheating this will definitely get you back to uh, where you used to be testosterone rise when you were a little bit younger. One thing that we will give one taste to 
is the pre-workout, uh, the watermelon uh, flavored pre-workout. Uh, I'll go ahead and give this a taste on camera and let you guys know how I feel. All right, let's go ahead and mix some of the pre-workout up. I have been taking this already. It tastes good. I enjoy it. I don't take too much because my body is super sensitive to everything. That testosterone boost I felt right away. Pre-workouts just make me feel like I'm on crack. Sometimes overstimulates me. This stuff's been working great for me. Haven't really had any side effects. My girlfriend loves it. She just will not stop drinking this stuff. Really tasty. Not too sweet. One thing that I've noticed about some pre-workouts is that we'll get too much jitteriness. Tingling, some itching, things like that. I haven't really gotten those side effects with this pre-workout. I've been loving it. It's been pumping me up and keeps me steady throughout the day instead of me, you know, going up through my workouts and then crashing an hour or two afterwards. I'm staying nice and pumped up all throughout the day. So, shout out to Jamie Sheldon and NatFit. Amazing line of products. If you're an arm wrestler especially, you need to go out there and support the man, support the arm wrestling family. Aside from that, anybody should be picking up these products. I see this being something that's internationally a household name eventually if he stays uh, working hard like he has been. Uh, so shout out to Jamie Sheldon. Go ahead and hop over to NatFit and hook up with some of their products. Also, hop over and get some of their NatFit swag. Support them. Uh, please hop over to the Puller Magazine website. Sign up so you can get notified when the first issue of Puller Magazine is available.